What is up everyone? Mr. Aviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Legacy here on Aviator Games. And you guys, last time we left off, we had basically our two Sims here, Ryan and Lindsay, getting ready for an epic date night. Yes, they started their day off at the gym trying to get physically fit before they go on their date. Now, they're not dating each other because they're brother and sister, but they are going to go out to some nightclubs together and try to pick up some chicks and some dudes. Uh, use each other as wingmen so basically we're gonna send these two home first then they can get all ready because it's gonna be time to head off to this club so everyone go 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 home now but guys before we get fully into this episode do not forget to slap that like button if you have not slapped the like button yet make sure you do if you already did though comment down below hashtag like spike and help spread that like awareness for likes all around guys and and if you haven't hit the like button yet still at this point I'd have to ask you what are you doing with your life why don't you just do it and, and that's where I'm going to end this pathetic plea for likes. But okay, let's dive headfirst into the episode. We have our young little Michelle here. She's given her adopted mother a good old hug. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is our old house. Guys, do you remember this house? Oh, our house where dad built a rocket ship. Oh, our house. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go out. We are going to have a great time. I think we're going to go. Oh, I think we're going to go to the club. Or are we going to go, like, the, is it going to be the lounge? Or is it going to be the bar? Uh, let's just travel. Let's see. We're going to go with Lindsay. And I don't know where we're going just yet. We're going to have to decide that. Lindsay, we'll see you there. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to go to... We have this lounge. We have this nightclub. Oh, my God. Let's go to the nightclub, guys. Looks amazing. So we're going to head off to the nightclub and we're going to see what is shaking at the nightclub at 5 o'clock at night. Probably not much. Nightclubs really don't get bumping until like 9 or so. So this might be kind of pathetic this early. But hey, if there's any Sims there, we're going to capitalize. Okay, let's see. So we just got here. We got this beautiful nightclub. Let's see what we got going on inside. Oh my god. Look at the size of that TV and who is this? Who is this Sim over here? We have this guy. He looks pretty old. He looks like Detective uh, Gordon from, uh, yeah, like uh, Commissioner Gordon from Batman. And then we have some bartender girl over here. She's looking pretty good. Now let's go upstairs. What else do we got going? Oh, wow. No one's here. Uh, this club is uh, kind of lame right now. <laughs> Not going to lie. I kind of knew it would be. Oh, who is this? Who is this? Oh, my God. Jade Rosa. Okay, Jade, Rosa, you're going to be hit on by, um, you know, by Ryan. Ryan's going to start the hitting. Look at this cactus. That is huge. What is that? Okay, so here comes Ryan, and we're going to have um, Lindsay come over here, and she can introduce herself to this guy over here. What's his name? His name is Marcus. Okay, so she's going to talk with Marcus. We're going to have Ryan talk with uh, this beautiful Jade, Rosa girl here and see what he can work out. So he just worked out today. He's feeling pretty good. Let's actually have him change his outfits. Uh, let's have him wear formal. So, okay. So let's see if he can if he can dig this. There, he looks pretty cool. He he looks like he's ready to go clubbing. Okay, so let's give her a heartfelt compliment. She looks gorgeous, and we're gonna then we're gonna have Ryan say that, discuss interests, tell a funny story. What else could he do? Flatter her and maybe brighten her day a little bit? No, he should try to show her how funny he is. So let's do a knock knock joke or two. Duh, no, mom, we don't want to talk to you right now. We're at a club. We're clubbing. Okay, for God's sakes. It looks like people are starting to show up though. It is almost six o'clock at night. This club might get bumping any time now. Let's bring her day up. Uh, Ryan has learned that Jade is in, is a business. Wait, is a business at Dewey, Chantum, and Ho Incorporated. She's a business. She, she is a business, guys. Let's tell her an engaging story, um, and maybe tell her a funny story. What else could we do to get to know her a little bit? Let's do all that. The whole nine we're going, guys. I don't know if Ryan's going to be able to hook up with her. We're not going to give him much time, though, Ryan. You have very limited time. Now, Lindsay is more of a girl that's looking for love, not just looking for a quick hookup. You know, she's already got an adopted daughter. She took that leap way before I even... Oh, my God. Who is this? Katrina Cataline. Oh, my God. And the Nancy Landgrab. Oh, baby. Ryan, you got some girls over here. Okay, so let's see. Is there anyone that she'd want? There's this guy, Jeffrey Landgrab. 
She can ask about his career and see what he's all. Oh, God, he just got old. Jeffrey! Jeffrey! Okay, he's really old. Let's uh, share brilliant ideas. Let's have them chat. You know, like, she saw him, may maybe thought he kind of needed help, so she's going to chat with him a little bit and see, well, I don't know, if they have any common ground. She doesn't want to date him. She just wants to be friends. She heard good things about him and wants to chat. You know, and oh my god, look at her. Nancy Langrab is now an elder as well. So we're going to have them chit-chat together. Holy crap. Okay, let's go check in on Ryan. Ryan's a young adult. He's just trying to hook up with another young adult here. So he's going to tell an engaging story and then get into a deep conversation with her. And then maybe discuss more interests. We're going to just try to get to know this girl as much as we can. Flatter her, continue that, and then, I don't know, tell a joke about penguins. Okay, let's go check in on Lindsay. So Lindsay, <laughs> Dina, or I mean uh, Nancy is working out over here. Uh, let's tell him an engaging story and enthuse about new show because we're a nerd and discuss latest games and get to know. She's got some interest in Jeffrey. Okay, so we learned that she's outgoing. What's going to happen here? Let's keep getting to know him. Let's uh, uh, ask about his day. Uh, tell an engaging story. She's working on a friendship with Jeffrey. Maybe she likes the older, sophisticated type. Maybe that's her type of man. Uh, let's reveal, reveal more brilliant ideas and tell a joke about Sunset Valley. Okay, Ryan, you're right here. Did your conversation with her end? Where'd she go? She's here. Don't leave her, man. Tell her a dramatic story and, and I don't know, uh, do an impression and uh, tell an outrageous story and uh, take a picture together and do more stuff like that. Share secrets. Okay, she's, he's going to go out here. He's going to keep talking to her. Go. Okay, so they're out here. They're not even in the club yet. It, it's almost 8 o'clock at night. They're just they're just talking, having a good time. Tell her a funny story. It looks like these two could actually become a pretty decent couple. I don't know what this girl's doing involved in our conversation. Go die, Nancy. I'm sorry, Nancy. I didn't mean it. Uh, it looks like Nancy and, and this dude are getting old. They're going to bed early. It's what time? 8.18. Who is this? Who is this? Nina, Kathleen, oh my god, she's okay. <laughs> Her mom is in here. My god. My god. Okay, let's make a flirtatious joke. I feel like they're getting to the point in their friendship where that would be allowed. And Lindsay got the dancing skill, so she's out there ripping up the dance floor. Okay, so this is going pretty well. Having a funny conversation, enjoying each other's company. You know, he, he does have another girl he's interested in, but, you know, this girl seems like... She could be his girl. Let's compliment her appearance and, and, and I don't know, uh, ask about her day. Let, let's see how this kind of goes. Come on, come inside. Okay, here she goes. She's coming inside. Or not. Why isn't she coming in the club? It's like she's afraid to go inside. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the more romantic area. We're going to flirt with her a little bit. Okay? We're going to ask if she's single. We're going to compliment her appearance. We're going to give her a pickup line. Uh, she it looks like she's enjoying it. Uh, let's embrace her a little bit. Let's see how this goes. So she is single. Okay, so Jade is single. And she's ready to mingle, it looks like. Okay, so we are going to go in for the first kiss. This is the most important kiss of all. Okay, so this is a date night, guys. Will he get this first kiss? They're, they're, they're embracing, so that's good. Oh, boy. It's going to happen. Oh, my God, guys. Are you witnessing this miracle on 34th Street? Yes, you are, because you're watching this video. Okay, we just took a screenshot. There we go. Beautiful. It looks like Ryan just got his first kiss with Jade. This date night is going amazing. So what we're going to do is kiss her hands and give maybe uh, offer her a rose and do a sexy pose. We're really going to heat things up here. And then we're going to, um, you know, invite her to stay the night. That's, that's, that's how this is going. A steamy exchange. Okay, so a sleepover sounds great. They're going to spend the night together. So let's uh, go check in on Lindsay. She's sleeping on the couch during her date night. Not a successful date night for the single mother, Lindsay. Okay, Lindsay, you just got to find a guy to get your mind off life. Who's this dude? Malcolm Langrab. Oh, his father and mother must be the Langrabs. Very successful lineage. 
Might be worth an introduction. Um, let's ask him to stargaze. Okay, so there they go. She's asking him to stargaze. Are they going to go stargaze? They are. Perfect. She's going to get him away. They're now away. Okay, so now they can kind of just chat. So let's get to know him. Let's uh, describe new ideas and discuss interests. Okay, so there we go. They're, they're actually getting to know each other a little bit out here. This is nice. You know, she's a young adult. He's a young adult. They both have blonde hair. Maybe they'd make some cute kids. Who knows? And his dad and mom are rich and loaded, so that wouldn't hurt the bank account at all. Uh, what are these people doing out here? Okay, let's go check in on Ryan. It looks like he's napping in the... <laughs> where is she? Where did she go? Jade, where are you, Jade? Let's go wake her up. Let's see what she's up to. Jade, wake up. There we go. She's like, oh boy, I just fell asleep. Okay, let's kiss. We're going to kiss her. There we go. Let's snuggle. Let's uh, make a move. So it looks like they're having a pretty good... Let's invite to stay the night, even though we already did that. Why not do it again? Uh, sleepover sounds great. Okay, well, good. You know, we, we got to go back home to spend the night, but... Okay, let's go over here. What are they doing? Looks like their friendship is taking a new turn, so... Let's ask about his career, see what he does for a living, discuss more of his interests, and tell an engaging story. Okay, so he's a massage therapist. Okay. So not exactly the craziest of jobs, but not bad either. Okay, let's send these guys home. He's a music lover. It's getting late. I think Ryan's ready to go home. She passed out on the couch. He's going to call it a night, and I think uh, I think Lindsay should too. This has not been the easiest of nights. Okay, Lindsay's heading home too. They both had a pretty good date night, not going to lie. Lindsay's was a little less exciting than Ryan's, but Ryan's got a decent girl that might be a future girlfriend. He's already thinking about trying to find one because he's getting closer to becoming a full-fledged adult. He might want to have a kid before he passes away, so that's something we got to consider because uh, we got their ages set more on a rapid, you know, increase. Seven days until full-fledged adultism hits them. Adultism! Okay, so that's something we got to watch for. Looks like Ryan's asleep in his bedroom, and then we have to go get... Lindsay, she, or Autumn, Lindsay, Lindsay, Autumn, wait, where are we here? Yeah, she's going to go to sleep here. Lindsay, okay, and then we got Michelle, who is awake. What the heck are you doing awake right now, Michelle? Did you do your homework, at least? Did your homework? Okay, she got her homework done. Okay, let's clean this up. Let's clean all these dishes up. Then we're going to go upstairs, and you can go to the bathroom, and then you can go back to bed. You should be asleep, young lady. You got school soon. <laughs> this is crappy for you, I'm guessing. She's not going to get a lot of sleep. She's already pretty energized, though, so not the biggest of deals. Wash your hands and go. Go to sleep. There we go. But I got to say, guys, I think this date day has been pretty successful. Now, oh, I thought we joined a career for Ryan. I thought we joined the athletic career. Did we not? I think we were talking about it. I think we got to do that right now. He, he's got to get a job, man. If he's going to be having kids and stuff. So let's go to the athlete. He's a water person. Works 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, working three days. So, wait. Working three days. Oh, wow. So he's got a few days off here. He's got life going pretty easy right now. But he, he, he has to work out. He has to do all that. He's got this at-home gym. Let's check out his, his needs here. He's going to go potty. Then he can uh, go back to bed, to be honest. He should get some more sleep. Okay. So they're all sleeping. She's awake. She's kind of exploring the house. Let's have her go downstairs. What time is it? Let's have her eat some cereal, or should we? Eh, let's have her clean this up, actually. Uh, no, do not eat that. That is not good for you. Have a quick meal of cereal. She's going to get cereal. I don't know why I can't get this out of her stupid inventory. Okay, eat that cereal. Then you got school. What day? Wait, what day is it? It's Sunday. You don't have school. Oh, my God, this is the greatest day ever. Okay, let's clean all this up. Clean this up. You gotta clean this up. Don't you know that you gotta do dishes once in a while? And clean this up? Does she not know how to use the garbage? She does. Okay. How come I can't click this? Well, whatever. That's done. Let's turn this off. Let's have your day start off with some uh, Saturday morning or Sunday morning cartoons. Watch some kids TV. Okay. 
I think, guys, though, this is where we're going to end this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4 Legacy. If you did, do not forget to slap that like button, lemon heads. And also, if you made it to the end of the video, comment down below the secret hashtag, which will be hashtag... <laughs> Hashtag first kiss that is gonna be the hashtag comment down below hashtag first kiss if you want me to know you watched the whole episode But thank you guys so much for watching until next time remember to take it easy Lemon squeezy